So welcome everyone, my name is Paula Gilmore. Today's webinar session is the ethical hypotheticals for large firms and in-house counsel. Your speaker today is Steve Mark. Hello everyone, and uh, it's really nice to be with you even in disembodied form. <laughs> but at any rate, um, as some of you may know, I was Legal Services Commissioner for almost 20 years. And so my, my take on the type of complaints that people lodge about lawyers is pretty strong. Discuss five ethical hypotheticals for large firms and in-house counsel with Steve Mark. You are assisting a corporate client with a reorganization of his company and he informs you that a major internal corporation is interested in taking over his company and he's very happy as he knows that his share price will rocket up. Without telling your client, you go out and purchase a number of shares in his company. What would you do? I do my job, my client comes first, agree. Well, well, the issue here is both legal, and you mentioned it, Paula, of course, it could be insider trading. So you, you could be, of course, breaching the law. But the reality is, what does it really mean about your relationship with your client and your relationship with your firm? And if we have time, number six, in defamation, the cause of action dies with you. He seeks your advice on bringing an action to recover damages. You do so. The defamation is admitted, negotiations commence, and the publisher offers 100,000 plus costs. You confer with your client who insists that he will not settle for less than 150,000 plus costs. You are instructed to reject the offer of 100,000 plus costs. An hour later, and before you have responded to the newspaper's offer, your client's wife rings. The client has had a major heart attack with a minimal chance of survival of the surgery being conducted as they were talking. She was present at the conference that morning. She asked you to accept the 100,000 offer. You want time to think. An hour later, the wife telephones again. The surgery was not successful. The client is on life support, but withdrawal of life support is being considered. Do you accept the offer? What do you do? 